Let's try something a little different. Inspired by Infendia, I'm going to be doing my own sort of 10 minute challenge. So I've got 10 minutes on the clock, and my plan is to basically, in 10 minutes, with no plan whatsoever, to make myself one of these lock latches that's gonna be perfectly 3D printable, and let's just get straight to it. So three, two, one, start. So I'm pretty sure that the main key component that I wanna work with is a cube. I need this, this is gonna be the main bolt in the middle, so I'm gonna make that 10 millimeters. Then lengthwise, let's just start with 80 millimeters here. And now I want to apply this scale because we can't really work with this. I want this to be able to turn. So I'll be taking this into edit mode. I'll be adding some loop cuts here. So then I can grab these lovely edges right here. And with those there, I'm gonna bevel those in by 2.5. I don't need that, I wanna chamfer it actually. So with that like that, yep, yeah, I'm gonna then go and add some loop cuts to this because that's how I'm gonna be able to get most of this done quickly. So I'm gonna have, oh, if we're working with 80, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's exactly what I need. That means that there's a one centimeter each there. Right click to cancel. And then I'll be able to go into my face selection and select these faces right here. So I'll select that one, select this one here, select that one there, leave that as it is right there. Yes, I think so. I'll do the final bit of selection here. Oops, did not mean to do that. Select that here. Select those there and select that there. So that seems pretty good. I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, so I'm gonna duplicate that out, Shift D. Then I'm gonna be P for parting it, the selection, taking that selection over, grabbing this here with X-ray and 3D cursor. I will now select all of this. I have vertex snapping already on. So G, Z, bring that right down to that point here. Then I'll select everything, go into face selection, go over front here, Alt S on the S so it scales properly. I think I need to give this one whole millimeter of space if I'm wanting this latch to be able, oops, let me undo whatever I just did there. If I'm wanting this latch to be able to rotate. So let me just quickly check that. Will that be enough for this right here to rotate? Um, L, R, yeah, that, that's plenty. And also it gives me a little bit of extra room in case the 3D print doesn't come out super duper clean. So that's exactly what I'm wanting here. That's good, grabbing this here, go grab all of that. I will now use a solidify. And I'm gonna go with a three millimeters, 3.5. Give this a good amount of thickness in the other direction, make that an even offset like so. And that is already it with what I want to do there. So I'm gonna actually apply that in place here. I'm gonna bring in another cube now, make this four millimeters high, cause that's the base that I think would be strong enough to hold a latch like this. Go up to here, bring this over to here, edit mode, Z, grab these, go G. Oop, did not have my X-ray, so make sure I've got my X-ray on, G, X, bring that over to there, grab this here, G, X, bring that over to here, go over to this way. Of course, I could try and do this all with mirroring, but I cannot be bothered right this minute. So I'll grab this, G, Y, go over to here, grab this here, G, Y, over to there. I should probably just do mirroring, but oh well. Um, then I've got to have the bolts, the screws that I'm putting in here. So let's go G on the Y, give that five millimeters. That seems very small. No, I'm gonna give it 15 millimeters because the holes are for, yeah, I'll go for, 15, maybe 13, where are we at? 
five minutes left on the clock. You got to hurry up. So that was G Y minus five. No, minus 15. Was that, was that 15? I can't remember, but I want to make sure that I get this right. G Y 15. Yes. So we'll do this once again. G Y minus 15. Brilliant. And I need to now do a couple of cuts and bits and bobs to this. So I will do a loop cut once again, get the loop cuts to the, go to about there. Now the reason why I'm doing this is I'm planning to select this right here. And I can't see what I'm doing because of x-ray. Grab that there. I'm going to part selected. Take a look at just this bit here. We're going to grab this edge right there. Fill that up. Brilliant. Go back out. Grab just this one and fill this here back up. There and there. Perfect. Now I'm going to bring the most important bit is how we're going to actually be attaching this. So let's bring in a cylinder. This is already set up to my screws. Yes, it is brilliant. Grab this here, grab this face right here, extrude this up by three, scale this by two. Yep. Then I'm going to bring this down, GZ down, GZ up now to here, bring this back here, extrude this up once again, go up to the top view. And now I'm going to use some CAD transforms to precisely put this in place. It's just going to start somewhere around here. And um, let's go G. Um, need to make sure my CAD transforms is on G space O from origin, we're going to space edge center edge center, but I only really care about this on Yeah, let's go for down here. Yeah. So now I know that that's in the right place, I can go W G. Y bring this up to here G Y one. Yep, then I will grab shift D on the X bring you over to here, double check that you are all right over here again, G X one, go over to the other end, D on the X over to here, G X minus one, and we will then grab all of this. And we should really mirror this into the world center. So let's just do that because it'll be faster. So oops, did not mean to save, I meant to move this origin to the world origin grab these here, go join. And then we're going to move this 3d cursor over to the origin point here. So then we're able to grab this, go with the mirror modifier, which is right the way I always forget it where it is. There it is, we're going to go on the Y only, we will apply that now with that applied, I can go back into edit mode, go part loose parts, I'll grab these four here, join that we are two minutes away, I think we'll be able to do this. Grab this, we will join that there. And I have done a little boo boo here in the sense that I haven't brought this back down. So do Y round two, let's go there. G Y that should bring us back to where I want. No, We've done a real problem here. G Y, I'm going to have to lose a little bit of precision, which I'm not exactly happy with. So I've got to got to make up for this by fixing my problem here. On the Z G here, Z back down to there. Okay, so now that is precisely in place where I want it to be. And now just very quickly this to make this a 3d printable lock need to grab this here, let's extrude this out by 25. This is obviously not going to be very useful right this minute. So let's grab these faces right there and delete those faces grab these edges here. Oh, I doubt I have the time right this minute. And we will fill these in scale these on the Y out like that we're running out of time. Let's start to boolean everything up. So this this cut that away this this cut that away you we've got to separate you by loose parts. 
and you've got to get joined up and you all need to be one thing go to here join you up and we'll duplicate you over to this side and that there is a technically a latch we have 15 seconds left on the clock there's not really much else to do i would quite like to bevel these can i can i do it in time i'm almost out of time i'm not gonna make it ah. oh well we'll We'll leave it. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. I will just add a little bevel. Just because we were, we were there. We were basically there. So there we have it. A nice little 3D printable. Completely 3D printable without any supports. The way that this is going to work is we will basically move this on... Oops. This one here. G on the X. Latch goes all the way out. Looks like I might have gone a little bit short on that latch over there. So I might have to bring that out just a little touch more. But you get the idea of what's gone here. I'm going to just quickly fix that little problem. I just did not realize that I've just got to extrude this out 10 more centimeters and then this will work with whatever it is that we're wanting to put in. And now we'll be able to move that all the way out this way. And the latch goes all the way out and it goes all the way back in. And this is completely 3D printable in the sense that there is no support needed because this is all 45 degree angles. This will be able to be printed flat on the bed. This will be able to be printed flat on the bed. We will rotate this on the X by 90 degrees, and this will be able to be printed flat on the bed as well, and that will be able to be printed as it is. was a really close call but we got there in the end if you found that i was going too quickly or you didn't quite understand what was going on remember there's the free course that's linked down in the description as well as the paid course which really gives you just the nuts and bolts of 3d print design and learning how to use blender for precision modeling a huge thank you to my patrons you guys are absolutely awesome and it's thanks to your support that i'm able to make Maker Tales a reality. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here, you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. Don't forget that we have a Discord and that's linked down in the description. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.